Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Chad Ogston, the one but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update. This is from Flamingo Land in Malton, North Yorkshire. This is a construction update on their 10 looping roller coaster set to open this season in 2020. Uh, so basically, uh, the latest construction update is not a massive one, uh, but uh, this is a big one because we've got some more construction updates, we've got some more information, we've got an official picture from Flamingo and social media themselves, so a big thank you to uh, them, all the credit goes to them for this image that I'm going to use in this video. Um, as well as talking over what we've seen on site, I was looking at information from the Flamingo Land Crazy Group on Facebook. Big shout out to them. Um, you know, they provide some great construction photos and actual written information about what's happening on site. Uh, so we can sort of, I'm going to have a look through the latest and see what's sort of happening as well. Uh, so it's going to be a very jam packed construction update. Even though it's not the biggest video, it will be a jam packed full of construction. Uh, so let's go. Let's get started then. So we're going to start with the Flamingoland uh, social media post on your screen right now. Fanda Bidazi. That, my friends, is a trap piece being laid into uh, below ground, basically. So it's one of the below ground pieces. My guess is it will be part of the um, sort of airtime hill into a bit of a ditch into the Cobra Roll uh, or coming out of the Cobra Roll, should we say? So. You know, it's quite a big track piece. It's quite a big one in terms of the construction of the uh, ride. But in terms of the latest stuff, as of yesterday, uh, or around about yesterday, um, we've had some stuff where support and track are still on site, ready to be constructed. Uh, we've had loads of construction pieces already up. We've got at least half the barrel roll constructed. Um, a couple of, in, couple of the other inversions, like the vertical loop and the corkscrew, the lift hill's already been up for a while. Um, loads of more track pieces on site, uh, cranes are on site, there's even a, a, a support sort of opposite Velocity's queue line or the back of Velocity's station where some of the queue line is, uh, where a small yellow foundation's gone up there uh, as well. Uh, you've got a foundation uh, slash support. Um, sort of laying on the ground ready to be constructed. Uh, we've got a couple of them around the site as well. Uh, you can start to see some of the support structure peeking over the top of velocity as well um, as I'm looking at this. So, uh, you know, it, it's just going to be an exciting project. So, overall, then, the construction uh, of this coaster, again, is really, really picking up the pace. Uh, and I think the overall opening uh, day of the coaster, I think, uh, I don't think. Uh, well, I think it'll open for the first day of the season. I'm not going to lie, I think it'll be open by then. But depends how, because they've only just got back on the construction site only about a week ago. So you know, it's you've got to get used back back to the construction pattern, etc. So hopefully, for Flamingo Land um, sort of uh, reveal more stuff from the construction site. Uh, we get a new name as soon as possible uh, from this particular attraction. Uh, but this is a very exciting attraction. This is the, the first coaster, sort of new coaster, shall we say, um, you know, since 2013 with Hero and Twistosaurus, as well as another new attraction in the um, ro uh, the uh, Rotosaur, I believe it is. Um, so, um, or the Zampello Magic Bikes in Dinostone Park and the whole Dinostone Park area. So, um, you know, since Hero and Twistosaurus technically are the coasters, um, but, you know, this is the first coaster in like seven years. So, this is a, definitely an interesting one. I think it's a great fit for Flamingo Land. It's great for their market. Uh, they're definitely going to uh, acquire a lot more uh, visitors. They've got a lot more visitors already. But they're going to acquire double that when this coaster opens. So uh, they're going to put in a massive, massive project here. So I think that uh, overall it's going to be a very exciting project to follow. Uh, as we head into the final furlong of this project. I know other projects are into their final furlongs now as well. Uh, you know, we're about to enter February. So, you know, Blackpool Plays Beach is going to get ready in a couple of weeks to open for the WoW weekend. I don't think I'll be down there, unfortunately. Um... Uh, I would have loved to be down there for the WoW weekend. It is very cheap, the tickets. Uh, it's just about travel, etc. Uh, that's all. So, um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be down there for the WoW weekends. I'll try, but I, I, to be fair, I did say in the last Blackpool Poison Beach news update that I think I'd be holding off from Blackpool until next year, ready for the reimagined Valhalla and for the anniversary of the park. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's, 
it's just going to be a waiting game really so uh, thank you very much for watching this theme park news update for Flamingo Land make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and for now guys my name is Coach Charles, Kill on the Coast Live and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care, have an awesome day